a slipper. You don't care. You don't care, right? Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney, if you are new here. In today's video, I am going to be doing an eye look and a lip look using products from Uma Beauty. I am, am really disappointed in myself because I try to, when I shop, put my money to companies and people that I believe in. I never thought of myself as a racist person and, but honestly looking back, I'm like, I may not be racist, but I can do a lot more to be anti-racist. And that's what I'm going to be doing going forward because when you know better, you do better. So I did, I have been purchasing more from black owned companies because that's where I want to put my money and that's what I want to support going forward. So this is um, one of the first steps. And I love makeup and I can't believe, oh, most of my makeup I, I've had for years because of the companies that I've worked for and I try not to purchase things that I don't need, but there are things that I want and there are companies that I want to support so that's what I'm doing. So first, um, I'm going to be, I looked on, I've been researching, I'm like all over the place. I'm researching um, black owned beauty brands uh, as well as other black owned businesses. Um, and I came across Uma Beauty and the reviews were amazing. Um, so I was like, I, the, all right, this is, this is where I want to start. And to find a palette that is, so perfect to do so many looks with from every day to every night um this really stood out to me so i was really excited it's very affordable this what you get 10 shadows and a beautiful mirror um for 44 dollars. so that's really good especially for the quality of the product that you're getting all of these are really amazing quality, highly pigmented, they last all day, um, they even look better as they wear on. So this is the Black Magic palette that I got in Poise, and I also picked up one of their matte lipsticks in Angela. So this is the look that I am going to be doing for you today. So if you would like to stick around and see how I created it, um, keep on watching. Thanks. Oh, I am going to leave all the links in the description down below. Um, so if you would like to pick up or check out Uma, I mean, there, there's so many different reviews online and all of them are pretty much stellar. So you can't really go wrong with purchasing from them, but I will link below the products that I am using so that it's easy for you to get to. I start off with a fluffy brush and I'm going in with Omo which is this lighter color up here. It's a great transitions shade. It's very pigmented, so you just need a very little bit. And then just go back and forth right over your crease. It's so pretty. Like, that's just such a beautiful shade. <laughs> I'm so happy with this palette. Okay. For... The next shade I'm going into, it is called Umoja, and this is a really beautiful navy frost. I'm using a small flat brush, just loading it up, tapping off the excess, and I'm just going to apply it to my inner and outer lid, a little bit into my crease. This can go on um, sheer if you like, but just by applying it with a fluffier brush. But for this look, I wanted it to be pretty intense just where I'm applying it. I'm also going to take the tip of my brush into the Umoja and just go along the bottom lash line just about halfway because I want it to be a little bit more of like a C shape in the outer corner. Even though these are really pigmented, there's n like no fallout. It just hugs the brush so beautifully. 
Okay, so that's pretty much how I want the shape to be. Now with that fluffy brush, again, that I used the, for the first, I'm going to just lightly buff out any hard edges. So I'm not going over the whole thing, I'm just gonna blend out a little bit of that line. Then back in with that firmer brush that I used to apply the Umoja, I'm just going to kind of con connect those two together, but not too thick. And then just buff up lightly, again, just to, to blend that shade. If you need a little bit more, just go in and apply a little bit more. This is so beautiful because it really does keep that blue. It doesn't turn black even though it's such a deep color. Okay, now with a small fluffy brush, I'm going in with Asia, which is this color right here. and back into the crease, but not as big as the first time. And I'm not really going over the blue. I just wanna blend that a little bit better and this color is perfect to blend. Just adds that little bit of depth. And then with my fingertip, I'm gonna go into this magical shade. It is called magical, it is so beautiful. And it wears so well throughout the day. It just like melts into your skin. And I'm just applying that into the center first of the lid where I didn't put any color down. I did put a little bit of concealer down before. So that's helping to grab hold of the shadows you really don't need a lot. It, it just, it really just holds on to the skin. And so that's just down the center. Now I'm taking a small, you can use an angle brush into Poise, which is this dark chocolate brown. And I'm just gently going along my lash line just to deepen it. I don't want to go with a black. I want to Keep it a little bit warmer that's why i chose that brown shade and that just creates like a veil of shadow i don't want it to be a statement liner i i just want to create a little bit of depth so beautiful there's so many different ways that you can use this palette i love it um i did do all of my foundation and everything because i did just um purchase this palette from Uma and this lipstick that I'm wearing. And this is the shade Angela, but I'll get to that after I'm done with the eyes, which I'm pretty much done with. Oh, I did want to go back in after everything again with the Omo, just to kind of blend everything together once more. It's just, it's so beautiful. Oh. All right, now I'm just gonna apply a mascara. I did not get um, a mascara from them. I am trying to do a little bit at a time. I don't have a lot of money, but I do want to, going forward, put my money to people and companies that I wanna support and wanna give my money. So, and I'm just, Disgusted with myself that this is the first time that I'm really looking at black owned businesses um, and that that's on me and so I'm going to be collecting a little bit at a time and supporting black owned businesses but for right now this is the mascara that I have good enough on the mascara okay so the color that I got from Uma is called Angela this is a great shade, one, because it goes on pretty deep, but you can apply just a little bit and it becomes a lot more of like a warmer, light, oh, of course lighter, but like a 
warmer nude, which is really beautiful. So what I like about that is that you can put it all over the lips gently, and then just by going in a little bit firmer to the outer corners, it it's like a, a another color and it adds like a depth so that it creates more of that like pouty look that I really like. And this is a matte shade so you can apply a gloss over it or you can leave it as is. You can just throw it on as a stain. Great, great products. Um, so that is pretty much it. That is the finished look. And um, what else? Yeah, like I said, I, I, I'm going to collect and I'll do um, more tutorials on products that I get more from Black-owned businesses because that's where I want to put my money and that's where I want to support. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. Please, if you have any product recommendations um, that you can give to me, I would love to try them out. Just leave them in the comments below. And that's it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.